Joining me on Newswatch is Sophie Ellsworth, media writer for The Australian. Sophie, uh, this is, yeah, Andrews is brilliant at dominating press conferences, right? Um, and he's always got that utter conviction to him, which changes, you know, makes people think, oh, I thought he was wrong, but he must be right. Look at him. But is he winning this one? Well, Andrew, I thought he was rattled today. Uh, it's very unlike the Premier to get hot under the collar when the press pack, uh, you know, turn up the heat and ask him quite a few tough, tough questions. But I fear, uh, felt like today he was rattled there. He got pretty annoyed, uh, as you can see in his commentary to the journalists. But I will say this, Andrew, the journalist pack here in Melbourne is not letting him get away with this. Uh, with all the disasters we've had, here in Victoria, the handling of COVID, the cost blowout. This one's really seems to have resonated with the press pack because all the left-wing media are absolutely going for him. And we saw that today in this press conference. So I think, but but as he always does, Andrew, he gaslights the media. He, he says, I didn't say that or that wasn't the case. He's a master at handling the media. But today I felt that he was uh, not on his best performance by any means. Uh, no, um, but again, that utter conviction that I think uh, viewers will think, oh, well, you know, he's, he's OK, he's in charge. That's the key here, I think. Um, I'm going to talk more about uh, uh, Daniel Andrews with the panel. I want to move on then uh, here. You, uh, there was a really interesting story you did on the Left Wing Guardian Australian newspapers that some of its reporting on The Voice, which is really four, was actually subsidised by a charity that backs the voice and funds it. What is going on? So, Andrew, I'd advise people reading Guardian articles to look really closely on the left-hand side of the web pages because there's often on there a little uh, logo with uh, sponsors that says this content is supported by. And in this example I used in this story, the Balnaves Foundation, a uh, philanthropic uh, foundation, is part of a collection of same sort of groups that have donated $17 million to the Yes campaign. Now, many of these articles on the Guardian website, you could argue, are favourable to The Voice. And and uh, the Belknaves Foundation is supporting these articles. So they have articles that are meant to be objective with money coming from the Belknaves Foundation, which supports The Voice. Now, they have told me, The Guardian, that yes, those uh, clients who do give them funding can suggest topics, but the commissioning editor doesn't have to uh, go along with them. And they do not show these uh, clients copy before it runs. But this is very murky, Andrew, and I would really think that people should look closely at this because it's hard to see on their website. I bet you that sponsor's logo would not appear next to a story that was against The Voice. Um, and, you know, I wonder if the... You know, I, I saw on the website The Guardian saying, well, look, stories like this that are supported by is editorial ind independent content. And I'm thinking, how editorial independent is it when it's financed <laughs> by a lobby group? And would they be quite so forgiving if next to my editorials on global warming it said, you know, sponsored by a coal company? Oh, <laughs> seriously? I'm sure they'd forgive that. Exactly. Uh, honestly. Exactly, it, it Andrew. And I really think... It, right, uh, can you imagine... Th th that's right, Andrew. I mean, oh, can yeah. you imagine News Corp writing stories that are perhaps against The Voice and then it's funded by Advance Australia or those groups that are supporting the No campaign, just as a <laughs> hypothetical here? Can you imagine? So oh, I think this dear. raises a lot of questions, but it's very... so. I think it's quite sneaky. You need to look for it on their articles. You have given a very good warning. Thank you so much for that, Sophie Ellsworth. Really appreciate it.